Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Hello. So dramatic. All right. Let me just check to see whether I am sounding okay. the bots. I usually have bots. I'm so sad I don't have bots. Bring me my bots. Who takes the botteth away from me? How does my voice sound in this? And what kind of latency am I getting? Wait, I can't hear myself at all. I'm going deaf. Come on, come on, speak to me. I hope this is very entertaining for you people. Uh, uh, my, uh, my thing is disconnected to my thing. All right, this is probably going to make everything feedback. No, it didn't. Excellent. Uh, crunch, 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 crunch. This does not count as official. Official streaming. I need to declare it. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I think that's okay. It's a bit crackly, isn't it? I wonder what that is. Can I looped up with something here? Ugh. I should never have got out.
Much better. Yeah. All right. Now that's what I call streaming. Still a bit poppy. Maybe it's just a computer. All right, what I'm doing here is I use WeChat to read my stuff and right now it is not refreshing. I think we should cut off this a little bit.
I have delayed music going in this ear and also delayed microphone and the current music going in through here. And while the delay is so long, I don't really notice it. I'm getting a very odd sensation of deja vu. It's a really long delay. here but I believe that this is working fine. I'm just going to continue like this. Totally forgotten what I was working on. Oh, it's a little loud in my headphones. to do that that's good style track details and make a tiny link for the track all right this is because ladies and gentlemen if I'm right you're seeing this all fouled up at the bottom all right well hey hey cow wait where are you are you on OFTC that's very exciting if so I'm already very confused. I'm so confused. I have so many code therapy channels going now. Put your YouTube chat on, please. Oh, is it not on? Mm. All right, let's check it. other wrong code therapy. Stay away for a bit. Uh, out. Code therapy. Hey gang. I forget. Look like you people are out here. Look at you living in the YouTube land. All right. I'm trying to get to the chat. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not fully uh, 
working at 100% at the moment, but. Hold on, this may involve some privacy. Please bear with me.
I have no idea if that worked, Cal. <laughs> it seemed to, but I didn't get any... Um, I didn't get any confirmation of what I was saying, so maybe I was being filtered out from it. I don't know. Give it a go. Okay, I think it's just slow and doesn't echo my comments, which is, you know, fair enough. Look at that, why is it? Restream bot! Oh no, now we're looping. Alright, gotta get out of there. Okay, I think it's just pretty slow. Alright, hi, the icon 2020. Right. Should we begin? Jesus, what's that? Okay, it's still a little loud in my headphones. Do not spam lots of advertisement stuff. I can't tell you really. Why do I suspect you of doing that? Like, I, it's like I feel YouTube people are, are bad or something. You're not. You're welcome here. All right. Look, we have to fix this. That's what I need to do before I sign out. What am I coding? So I'm actually coding. Um, I'm just trying to fix this. It's it's very. Um, this is like my meta stuff, which is a little bit more casual than my proper stream. So horribly, I'm just coding um, HTML. But the thing that generates that is here. Um, and it's actually in Guile. So hopefully if I run this, it will update. Oh, look, and it's sufficiently small song to uh, to justify it. So I think what I need to do is... Oh, and this program, the program I showed you, is in Guile. Yes, Guile, which is this little scheme. Here, let me show you a little better see it and it's sending out um, uh, commands to my player and demanding to know what I'm playing and then uh, it is outputting it in HTML ideally so and then this is the clever thing that I just added recently, is that I put in a sed command. And if you don't know sed, you should totally know sed. It's a very simple Unix command. Um, and this just inserts it into my HTML. Uh, the HTML that generates this. So I should probably actually just have this running all the time. Most of the time. Does that work? No. Oops. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. I guess it's gotta be a loop. Ugh, I can never remember.
so now that should be updating the track. Now I just have to look at the file again. And that seems to be what's going on right now. But look at this, this is very ugly. Uh, so, that is almost certainly the fault of the HTML. We can always change HTML. And I was just doing this, I was pretty much just making this up as I was going along when I wrote it, so. Um, maybe the CSS finally worked out how to do max width. Should I wrap? somewhat cargo coding this. Yes. Well, I guess it's... Uh, that script is running well. Ah, look at that. That looks a little bit better. Not 100% better, I grant you, but... Let's see. Is that <sighs> larger than the bounding box? Isn't that that to be on like whoever invented CSS is grave? Like every word should just slightly go five pixels out, or whatever the equivalent of pixels are for graves. Somewhat sinister, but I can't look at it. Maybe what if I did this? I'm just messing around now. Well, that doesn't do anything. So that's like the... Hmm. What happens if I do that? No, I, I just kind of like it. I like this. It certainly solves that problem. Doesn't it put that? I don't know, it looks like some sort of Filofax, doesn't it? Hmm. What is my favorite programming language in while? I can't to 2020. I'm sorry, I didn't see you earlier. 
but I kind of like Haskell. I don't know. So I'm getting super into Lisps at the moment, which is why I'm programming in Guile. Um, and if you are interested in learning about Lisp, uh, not sure what I recommend, but um, I definitely think people should play around with Lisp for, uh, well, that's not very welcoming, is it? <laughs> for some uh, version of what they're doing, right? It's just the thing that teaches you stuff. But if you really want to break ahead, learning about Haskell is the way to do it. And neither of those things, I don't think they should be like beginning um, languages. Though I think that a person who learned to code via Haskell would be, would actually have a kind of amazing insight into how programming works. And probably the sh same is true of Lisp, but, um, but neither of them are the easiest languages to learn. You sort of have to learn them in combination with learning something about computer science. And uh, something like Python is so much better to get into and really start doing stuff immediately. So I think that would be my answer to your question, which is a good question. Thank you very much, the icon Tony Tony. So this looks a lot better, kind of liking it. I think we could do something with this, but that's a problem for another time. Um, I want this to actually match. So I think, I think this is going to be all like a weird flex thing. And then I'm going to use grid to actually lay out stuff. So Icon 2020, what's your favorite programming language? Oh, this is going to be hard while that thing is actually writing out to it, but eh, I can do it. I can do it. PHP. Also a good thing, to, good starting language. Does that sound patronizing? I don't mean it to be patronizing. Um, you know, the thing I really love about PGP is you do something and you can see it happen. And it's very good in that way. The thing that I think breaks people about Haskell a little bit is you type your Haskell program, yada, 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 and it looks a bit like this, I guess. This is probably what a Haskell program looks like. You go type, 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 and then you compile it, and the compiler comes up with a million freaking errors, and you're like, I just wanted to do something, and then you have to spend all your time fixing the errors. But when you do fix the errors, it runs first time perfectly. Not always, but as opposed to PHP where you run it and it sort of half does what you want and then kind of breaks in a really hard to debug way. With Haskell, you write the program, it either doesn't compile or it compiles and it works. So I like that after like, you know, a life of trying to find increasingly obscure bugs knowing, having some guarantees about what the end result was going to be like is, is pretty good. All right, so let's put this in a div two. Let's put that there. Do you program for fun or are you working on programming or are you just starting Icon 2020? Hmm. 
No, did it break here? I thought we fixed this. Not really. The question being, is there a big market or half score? It's quite... I mean, it's not so much you would... If you learn Haskell and you put Haskell in your resume, I think people would go, mm, that's very impressive. And you could definitely have more of a chance to get into a job in like finance and a few other obscure fields. But the thing is, is I think partly that's because when you learn Haskell, you also learn a lot about math and um, sort of the deeper structures of programming. So at that point, people are both kind of hiring you for those skills and also like once you've learned Haskell you can apply what you've learned to a bunch of others you know any other language definitely Lua PHP all of those things so uh so I I think I don't think there are many places that actually use Haskell in the same way as there aren't a million places that use this but you broaden your mind uh, by learning those languages and that is always a good thing maybe I just did I put that back in there we go yeah well I kind of am too which I think is why I enjoy doing it. I don't think anyone's bad at things like math. Um, I guess... You know how when you're programming, like, part of the thing that you do is you try and understand, like, how a bunch of little things fit together. And Haskell gives you a scheme... Let me start again. As you learn a language, you get better at like being able to bundle and sort of cluster those things together. So, okay, I've learned this, and now I can just make that into like one thing, put that to one side, and then this is very complicated thing, and I'm going to put it into a single thing there. And then you learn how to do better and better abstractions, I believe. I mean, that's how it feels to me. And I think that's really, rather than being bad at math, I think the math part of it is that way of understanding abstractions. So I think you can totally use Haskell or use another language without being good at math. I think it's actually almost another way of learning <laughs> about the, uh, the underlying structure that math and computation have in common. I am not a professor, although I'm kind of thinking about maybe uh, applying, trying to do more academic stuff. I actually work at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which is a, a digital rights organization. It fights against censorship and surveillance online. And um, we have to do a lot of thinking there. So, and also a lot of explaining because <laughs> you have to like think about what the future is going to be like and then you have to explain why people should get angry or worried or delighted about what's going to happen next. And, uh, and so that whole thing of thinking and explaining, I think, means you end up being a bit, a bit of a professor. Are you a student? And where, where are you? I'm in San Francisco. Let's see. This is all right. I think, look at this. That that should probably not be... Eek. Oh, look, an error. I bet this is because there's an apostrophe or something. Yeah, look at that. I knew apostrophes were going to mess up that. Okay. I'm going to... I can. I can be like Professor YouTube. Vancouver! Nice place. I had a flatmate once from... Actually, she was from British Vancouver, so British Columbia. So, kind of nearby, but... Uh, 
It's Vancouver in British Columbia? Yeah, right? Yeah, so she came from Vancouver Island. That's where I was getting. That's where I was getting mixed up. All right, that's going to make that error keep coming for a while. Let's move to another track. Let's fix this job, this bug, by <laughs> create going to a, a song that doesn't have exclamation marks in it. Uh, not exclamation marks. Apostrophes. Apostrophes always tend to break things that use... Well, you have to be careful not to break things in shell scripts if you have strange apostrophes because uh, shell scripts use apostrophes for their own nefarious purposes. And um, if you have another apostrophe in, it goes like, you've put too many apostrophes. I like an apostrophe at the beginning of my string. I like it at the end. I do not want one messing it up in the middle. Update tracks. So, what I should do is change the apostrophe into something else. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's probably better than escaping it. Huh. I wonder if that would work. All right, that's not the problem I'm trying to fix right now. I am trying to fix. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Why? Why is it line breaking on like that length and not the whole thing? Okay, I have three things going on here. Let's quit this. Ah, uh, I see. That should be 200. I wonder if that'll do it. Okay, that looks a bit better. So I'm just <laughs> wrong. Uh, I'm just trying to shimmy this along a little bit. Bet it's not a margin that I want. Bet it's something like padding. So what it looks to me is that these are a little close, these headings. And I think the headings are under in DT. So padding. No, that's it. what it might be. Padding is, um, a margin is around the thing. Padding is, right, there we go. <laughs> and once again, padding, if I, do that. I know, I know that won't fix anything. I'm just kind of interested. Okay. All right, so the problem is, is the padding is pushing this out to padding margin border. Here we go. This is the description of the whole thing. <laughs> is that a margin? OK, 
Okay, I guess we could make it, and then we could make this one nine two. All right, this does it. I mean, I don't like it, but I don't really like um, a lot of CSS, to be honest. All right, so the main thing now to fix is this you're listening to. And like I said, I think the way to do that is to Okay, this should break everything. That's good. That's what I wanted to do. That was entirely my plan. Hmm. Well, hmm. really going to do all of this just to get that look you're listening to in the right place I mean I could just all right let's make it this probably breaking all the rolls here but it's gonna do what I want I think so the idea here is that I'm going to just give it the same margin and thing as the other one. Let's see what happens. There we go. Okay. And then I think what we had is float left. You know, that's not bad. That's all right. That is not right. <laughs> um. Pretty good. Make this a bit more like 60. That's not right. So if it has no, actually, I see, I see. Maybe we can say padding left. What do you think? Could share me it a little bit to the left.
How does it look on the on the stream? Oh no, it's all. all right. Hey, I'm streaming. So cool. I'm streaming. Hey, this says hi. It's probably a good sign that I should stop. Actually, okay, I'm gonna stop. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging on. Have a great evening. See ya, Icon 20. 20. 20.